Today we're going to show you why every RV should come through Red Bay, Alabama. So keep watching. Right after 90 days sitting with no movement, it is time to crank her up and get her going. Woohoo! We are going to get underway today! <laughs> of course, I'm in my daughter's driveway. She just said, dang it, they're going. Okay, ready when you are. We are on our way to Red Bay, Alabama to get a little bit of work done on the RV. But of course, first we have to stop at Bucky's. It's Texas law. You cannot drive past one without stopping. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You just have to stop and go in. <laughs> of course, the good thing about Bucky's is they have great bathrooms, they have great food, and as you can see, plenty of parking for the RVs. And if you want, you can even fuel up with diesel and most of them now have depth too. Yeah, I don't know if this one does. We're in the new Braunfels one. Um, but like Stacy said, they are, most of them are starting to come with it now. But the best part about stopping here, aside from the space, is the brisket and the tea. And I'm not getting brisket today because hey. I'm trying to be good, but Phil will let you know how it is. I know a lot of people who haven't been to Bucky's before are always wondering, what is this Bucky's? It is pretty much a convenience store on steroids. If you <laughs> want to munch on it, snack on it, if you want to eat it, if you need to go to the bathroom, if you need a t-shirt, everything from cutting boards to t-shirts, you name it, they have it. Gravy ladles, <laughs> baby gear, hunting equipment. We just passed the wine and alcohol section, and literally, you could spend an hour and a half, two hours in here if you walk slow enough. <laughs> and looked at everything. Yeah. We don't want to do that. We have a, we're no. on a mission. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you'll know that we RV overnight all the time while we're traveling to our next destination. And today, we're going to show you a very unique RV overnight that you may not even know exists. When it comes to RV overnights, there are a lot of options, much better than Walmart. Of course, you guys know how much we love Harvest Hosts. We've stayed at all kind of places with Harvest Hosts, from wineries to breweries to farms. Why, hello, Phil. What are you talking about? I was talking about you. Well, that's a good subject. <laughs> no, seriously, there are a lot of options for you, but today we're going to show you one that you probably didn't know existed, and then we're going to talk about how you can use them as well. We did not get our fuel at Bucky's while we were there. We decided to come a little further down the road so we could use our discount card. We have the Open Roads Fuel Card, and it has saved us a ton of money since we signed up. It is free for you to sign up and to use. And then you just save money every time you fill up and you can use it for diesel only. That's the only catch. So if you have a diesel truck, diesel motorhome, you wanna save some money, we average 60, 65 cents on average per gallon savings. Now we have saved a buck 10, yeah. but we always save every time we use the program. Good thing is you can look at your route and it'll list all the gas stations that are in the program and it will show you what the cost is at the pump, how much you'll save, and what your cost will be. So you can actually choose your fuel stop based on the cheapest fuel prices. So that is a great thing to do. That's something that we've been doing for a few years now. Okay, now I need her to get in and move it forward. So oh yeah, he's got to get in. deaf, so I got to go in. Hold on. And people say I don't drive the RV. Of course I do. I move it forwards every now and then. <laughs> Okay, my work here is done. It's that simple. I just opened the Open Roads app. The pump price was $377. What we paid, ended up paying, was $321 per gallon. 
So that's a grand savings of 56 cents per gallon. And we paid one sixty four seventy five after taxes and all that other good stuff. Not too shabby. And it was on 46 gallons of diesel fuel. Are you dying to know what this fantastic RV overnight is? Where we stayed? You might be surprised. Let's show them. Look. Do you know what it is yet? Can you tell? Well, we're going to go inside and give you all the details because it's still raining. We are staying at the Elks Lodge. Are you surprised? Who knew? We certainly didn't until about two years ago. We discovered them and we've been using them for overnights and they're working out really, really well. Now, the thing to know about staying in the Elks Lodge parking lot is you do have to be members of the Elks. And we were thrilled to join the Elks when we found out all the amazing things they do, including helping our veterans, helping the homeless. They do scholarships. Every Elks Lodge is focused on charity and helping right. others within their own community. And sometimes they'll ask for a donation. So this trip, we're hitting two. This is our first one. We're going to stop at another one in Texarkana. And we're, we're pretty excited about sharing this with you guys. Yeah, and if you're interested in more about the Elks, Stacey will put the link down below. Here we go. Check it out. I just got the next edition of RV Destinations Magazine, and I am super excited. Colorado, the UP, so many amazing destinations. And I got to tell you, this makes the best Christmas gift for RVers. You don't have to worry about filling up their RV with stuff they don't have room for. This will inspire them to hit the road on their next trip. It's an easy gift. You can get them a gift certificate and they can have it mailed to them in an actual paper issue or they can download load it straight to their computer. And guess what? Right now they're having a special at 30% off. So type this code in and you can save 30% on your next subscription. Last night we hit up another Elks Lodge for our RV overnight. And I gotta tell you, I felt like I walked into Cheers. It was amazing. <laughs> we walked in, we actually were looking for the buzzer to get buzzed in and they had a camera on us and buzzed us in without us doing anything. And we walked in and like Stacy said, it was like, hey, how you doing? Welcome. It was like, wow. The community atmosphere is crazy when you walk in and what we discovered is most of them give you your first drink free if you're a visitor. It happened at the Elks we were at yesterday and last night. I could kind of get used to that. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if all of them will yeah, spoil us true. that way, but some of them have hookups and this one actually has 30 amp, but we opted not to use it because in order to actually connect, we would have had to take the Jeep off. We didn't need it, but it is there if we come in through the summer we would have unhooked and plugged in. It couldn't be a better RV overnight. And if you guys don't know, we will be at the Tampa Elks Lodge, which is our home lodge. And that's where we did our big veteran fundraiser last year. Yep. We'll be doing it again this year. You don't want to miss it. We had a great time last time. It was time. so fun. There were folks that even stayed for all three sessions. <laughs> so check it out. All right, we have got to hit the road. We have about a five hour drive today. Yeah. We got to get the road. Yeah. I would love to know how much stuff y'all have sitting on your bed, tucked away, you know, under the couch, on the couch when you guys are traveling down the road. As you can see, we have a ton of stuff on our bed. What you guys don't know is Phil is our main dishwasher in this house. So I don't know how that evolved since we've been in the RV, but I kind of like it. Actually, I like it a lot. Of course you do. He's also the main laundry guy, the main, yeah, when it comes to the RV, pretty much he does most everything. But the trade-off is when it comes to the videos that you're watching right now, she does all of that. Yeah, I am sitting in front of my computer a lot. You guys don't realize how much time it takes just to put up one of these videos, but you know, we love it, so we're gonna keep going. That's right.
We are finally packing it up after hanging out with relatives in their driveway for a few days and we are on our way to Red Bay. And I know what you're thinking, Red Bay is just for Tiffin. But today we're going to prove to you that Red Bay is for any RV and any RVer. When RVers think of Red Bay, Alabama, they think of Tiffin Motorhomes. They assume they have to own a Tiffin to come here to get work done on their RV. But did you know there are a ton of specialty shops around Red Bay that have years, even decades of experience working on all brands of RVs? So let's talk about what you can get done here, what we've had done here, mm -hmm. all around the Tiffin Service Center. Red Bay, Alabama is not strictly for Tiffins. You can bring any kind of RV, any model, any brand here, and you can find places like Belmont Diesel that will work on your diesel RV or your truck for that matter. MS Solutions is the place we went when we needed to replace our yucky RV carpet because we all know the quality of the install. Cheapest carpet on the market, so we pulled it all out, got some really nice upgraded carpet, as well as removed the carpet from the bedroom and laid down some vinyl flooring. But Daniel and Carl over there also found that we had a broken bed box and they fixed that as well. Great guys to go visit. So they not only do carpet and flooring, but they do a host of other jobs mm -hmm. as well. Another shop outside of the Tiffin Service Center is here at Precision RV. These guys here, Tony and Terry and the crew, they will take care of you. They can do general RV repair as well as service your aqua hot, slide toppers, slide seals, and a ton of other things. They also have their own campground, and you can hang out right here and mooch off their Wi-Fi. Bay Diesel has done most of Ruby's maintenance for us. The chassis, the generator, they installed Coney shocks, they did an alignment, they did a safety plus adjustment. They specialize in diesel engines. So again, no Tiffin needed to visit Bay Diesel. I'm standing outside Freedom Mobile RV Service where John Bohannon has his three bay shop here in Golden, Mississippi. It's about a 10 minute drive from Red Bay. Here he does solar, battleborne batteries, and undercarriage lights. Red Bay is the place to come, not necessarily to our service department. But if you've got a motor home that's 10 years old, you need to come to Red Bay because some of the best technicians I had that worked for me have gone to business for themselves in Red Bay. And they've they work on all the older motor homes that, that we've built that we don't take in our service. Along with the small family businesses, there are also some big businesses here too. Mm -hmm. So Gerard Awnings is one of those. We had an awning mounted onto our driver's side slide a few years ago. It took 20 minutes and wasn't that expensive. No. It was totally worth it. So if you have Gerard Awnings or you want one, this is the perfect place to come for that repair or install. But that's not all. You can have custom cabinets, you can have solar installs, you can have custom paint and fiberglass repair, you can have tile and backsplash replace, even the kitchen sink. You can even have some custom jobs done here like painting a American flag on your grill or your back cap. And they have a lot of requests for that here for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I like it. What you will quickly discover when you come here is that almost all of these shops are small family businesses. And here, the handshake and their word is a binding contract. Mm -hmm. Now, these shops may not have credit card machines or websites, but I can tell you their schedules stay full because they do a great job. You will need to plan ahead for those big jobs like diesel maintenance, custom cabinetry, painting if your rig needs a touch-up job. Smaller jobs can be added while you're here. So if you want carpet covers for your steps, they have that as well. So those can be sprinkled around all of the other big jobs. Most of these guys and gals, they work around your appointments. They'll come to your site. They just will help you tremendously. Now, if you're not sure if you, the job you want to have done is a big job or a small job, just make sure you call the shop and mm -hmm. they'll let you know when's the best time to schedule. We have two of the best reasons why you should come to Red Bay to have your RV repaired. First is price. Here you're going to pay a half to a quarter of what you would pay throughout the country. As an example, due to taxes and wages in California, our friends were going to pay $3,000 more to have their Girard awnings repaired on their Integra. So they came here to the Red Bay Girard installation facility. <laughs> if that's what, what you want to call it. They know what to call it. And next is inventory. It seems these guys know what they need, they know what they use most of the time, and they have it on hand. Mm -hmm. If it's a consumable and they use it over and over, they have it here in stock because they want your business and they know you're only here for a short time. So again, if you're somewhere throughout the country, they may even need to order sealant. So you're sitting there and your RV sitting there for a week over something that's very simple that all RV repair shops should have. So those are our two best reasons to get you to come right here to Red Bay. The best time to 
you're coming to Red Bay to have work done on your RV is between Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's when everybody else is staying home or, or preparing for the holidays. Come here, you get in and get out. That's right. In the spring and summer, it is packed here. The campgrounds are full. The waiting lists are long. So if you want to get in and get out quickly, that's your best bet. So if you would like to see what all is offered here and what you can have done on your RV, I do have a PDF that you can download, which lists all the businesses, all the restaurants and all the campgrounds so you know what exactly is here and what can be done. It also has phone numbers to all the businesses mm -hmm. so you can give them a call and find out what their schedule is like. You can also go to the Facebook page called Tiffin Red Bay Roll Call and yes they'll let non-Tiffins <laughs> in. Answer the question so that they they know what kind of rig you have and to make sure that you're an actual person and once you do that our friend Steve who's one of the admins will let you into the group. When it comes to RV repair and maintenance, if you're somewhere living in the southeast, you don't want to have to drive all the way up to Indiana to get people who are experienced and know how to work on RVs. Mm -hmm. You can skip the drive, come right here to Red Bay, and get the experience and the professionalism that you're looking for. Yeah, they these guys know all about RVs. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We really just wanted to give you some peace of mind and send you somewhere where you could get good quality work done at your RV with a reasonable price. Absolutely. So thanks for watching, and hopefully one day we'll see you on, on the, the road. road.